We all love going fast on our e-bikes, but are you actually getting the most out of the trails that you ride? Here's my top tips to ride faster for free. Increasing your tire pressure is gonna give you a faster rolling tire. Great if you're riding fire roads and things like that, but if you are riding proper off-road terrain, it's gonna be a lot less grip and a lot harsher ride. Saddle height is really important on your e-bike too. You wanna to make sure there's a slight dip in your leg at the bottom of the stroke when the saddle's at its highest point. Any lower than that and you won't be getting the maximum power from your body. Pumping can actually give you a lot of extra speed out on the trail. Just make sure you're putting in a lot of effort on every single feature out on the trail. Corners can make or break your speed out on the trail, so it's really important to get them right. I really favor the slow in, fast out technique, meaning that you can get your line, your footwork, look around the corner and exit that corner as fast as possible. If you're coming in hot, chances are your line's gonna be all over the place, your feet are gonna be in bad positions too. It's gonna, just gonna make a real mess of the corner. When it comes to carrying speed and jumps, you really need to try and squash those jumps to keep the bike low. If you're popping the jumps up really high, it means you're gonna waste invaluable seconds whilst your wheels aren't in contact with your ground. Keep it low, keep those wheels driving, it's gonna carry a lot more speed. Riding with riders that are better than you is a really great way of increasing the speed down the trails. When you first see those guys ride, you'll be absolutely blown away by their skills, the lines they take, how they jump, the way they corner. But that will soon be you if you ride with those guys. You really need to look ahead when it comes to riding the trails. That way you can anticipate the terrain that's coming a lot quicker, allowing you to select what power mode you need to be in, what gear you need to be in, where you're gonna have your seat post drop out, and what line you're gonna choose. If you're looking down at your front wheel, you're gonna make a load of mistakes and the flow simply isn't gonna happen. Looking at the lines that you use out on the trail can actually increase your speed massively, especially on tech or downhill sections. Here we've got a typical section, we've got a hairpin switch right-hander. But when I was riding this trail, there's a route behind me here, which actually pushes you across to the right-hand side of the trail as you enter. But there's a sneaky line where you can hop the big tree route to my left and open up that corner, meaning the entry speed into the corner is gonna be a lot faster, meaning you're gonna be able to power up that climb. Rather than this right-hand line, you're gonna come in, you're gonna almost come to a standstill, then have to maintain that momentum up the hill. Any feature that's out on the trail that disturbs your flow is in turn gonna be taking speed away from you. In front of me is a rock garden with some roots. If I simply roll across this, my suspension, my wheels are gonna be slowed down a lot by it. But I've actually noticed a nice root in front of it, meaning that if I hit that with enough commitment, I can actually bump jump off of that root and clear this whole section. In turn, the exit speed is gonna be almost doubled. When things get crazy fast out on the trails, it's time to get aero. You might have seen the Tour de France riders descending tucked up into tiny little balls on their bikes. That way they're maximizing the airflow over them, getting aero. The same applies to your mountain bike. If you're coming down the hill, bolt upright with your dropper upright, you're gonna be acting like a big sail. It's time to get down and get aero and gain a few miles per hour. Braking less is obviously gonna increase your speed on the trail a lot more. We're all guilty of this thing called comfort braking, sections where we just lightly brake and drag our brakes a little bit. It's actually not doing a lot to slow you down. It's just your brain getting scared and pulling those brakes on. You find if you just release the brakes, the bike's actually gonna flow through that section a lot faster. It's gonna increase the speed a lot more too. Making two trail features into one can increase your speed massively out on the trail. In front of me here, I've got two rollers, meaning that, that if you ride at a medium pace, you're probably gonna roll through those two rollers. But if you come in committed, you can actually make that one double style jump, increasing your speed probably on landing by up to about twice. So you come in committed, pick up, big jump, linking the two, you can be flying down the trail. So there you go, I really hope you've enjoyed today's video on how to ride your trails faster for free. If you want to see a master at work, I really suggest you check out Fabian Burrell, Finding Flow Out on the Trail. That's a really cool video up here. Don't forget, if you've enjoyed today's video, give us a thumbs up, drop us some comments in the box below, and don't forget to subscribe by clicking the middle to subscribe to EMBN.